welcome to the Weekend Review, where we bring you key developments that occurred at the global African and Nigerian economic space over the week. We begin with the fact that President Muhammad Buhari, in his meeting with the Economic Committee of West Africa State's Heads of State, gave his updates on the sub-regional currency. He said it gave him an uneasy feeling that the UEMOA zone wishes to take up the echo in replacement for the CFA franc ahead of other ECOWAS member states. He felt that it was a matter of concern that the people with whom they wish to go into a union are taking major steps without trusting other parties for discussion. According to President Muhammad Buhari, Nigeria fully supports and is committed to a monetary union with the right fundamentals, a union which guarantees credibility, sustainability, and overall regional prosperity and sovereignty. He said it, must, it was a time that the ECOWAS region must do things properly and ensure absolute compliance with the set standards. He stated that the ECOWAS member states, heads of state, cannot ridicule themselves by entering a union to disintegrate, potentially no sooner than they entered it. He called for clarity and stability in positions regarding the process. According to him, we must also communicate same to the outside world effectively. We have all staked so much in this project to leave things to mere expediencies and convenience. In the aviation space, airports and airlines in the country are not yet fully ready to resume operations, the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority said over the week. It was gathered last week that while airlines were about 70% prepared for resumption, domestic airports were 57.83% ready. The latest statistics from the National Civil Aviation Authority also showed that air navigation service providers were about 80% prepared. Ground handlers were judged the readiest operators in the sector. Eight airlines were collectively rated 70% prepared by NCAA. They are Aero, Contractors, Airpeace, Arik Air, Asman Air, Dana Airlines, Ibom Air, Max Air and Overland Airways Limited. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, the petroleum products importation statistics for first quarter 2020 reflected that 5.26 billion liters of premium motor spirit, 1.66 billion liters of automotive gas oil, 258.27 million liters of aviation turbine kerosene, 28.3 million liters of low pore fuel oil, and 135.14 million liters of liquefied petroleum gas were imported into the country in first quarter 2020. Zonal distribution of truck out volume for first quarter 2020 showed that 5.36 billion of premium motor spirit, 1.56 billion liters of automotive gas oil, 8.73 million liters of household kerosene, 283.90 million liters of aviation turbine kerosene, 23.36 million liters of low pore fuel oil, and 290.24 million of liquefied petroleum gas were distributed nationwide during the period under review. Last week, the Federal Inland Revenue Service issued a public notice to clarify inquiries received from taxpayers on the tax exempt status of some in items included in paragraph 2 of the recently published Value Added Tax Modification Order 2020. The order was signed by the Honorable Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Mrs. Zainab Shamshun Ahmed. Pursuant to her powers under Section 38 of the Value Added Tax Cap, V1 Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004, as amended. The FIRS has said in the public notice that the main objective of the order was to clarify the definition of the items exempted in the first schedule to the VAT Act through extension of the list. Inclusion of the common external tariff codes of the exempt items in paragraph 2 of the order was to guide importers, Nigerian Customs Service and other relevant stakeholders on items that would not be subject to VAT at the ports. Following items, though included in paragraph 2 of the order, remain liable to VAT at 7.5% until they are exempted by an appropriately statutory instrument. They include natural gas, essential raw materials for production of pharmaceutical products, renewable energy equipment, and raw materials for production of baby diapers and sanitary towels. On a monthly basis, the Nigerian Stock Exchange pulled trading figures from market operators on their domestic and foreign portfolio investment flows. As at 31 May 2020, total transactions of the nation's boards decreased by 7.40% from 128.67 billion naira in April 2020 to 119.15 billion naira in May 2020. The performance of the current month when compared to the performance in May 2019 revealed that total transactions decreased by 46.12% in May 2020. 
total value of transactions executed by domestic investors outperformed transactions executed by foreign investors by 40%. The manufacturing PMI index in the month of June 2020 stood at 41.1%, indicating contraction in the manufacturing sector for the second time. Of the 14 surveyed subsectors, five sectors reported growth above 50% threshold. In the review of the month following order, electrical equipment, cement, petroleum and coal products, transportation equipment and paper products, however, went through this experience. The remaining nine subsectors reported declines in the following order, printing and related supportive activities, textile, apparel, leather and footwear, primary metal, plastic and rubber products, non-metallic mineral products, fabricated metal products, food, beverage and tobacco products, chemical and pharmaceutical products, and furniture and related products. And that will be all for this edition of the Week in Review. You can visit our website, www.proshenji.com, to get more updates from our news stories and videos. You can also follow our social media platforms displayed on the screen. Till we come your way again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and stay safe.